guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my March TBR. I had a pretty ambitious uh, TBR set for March and I got quite a few done. I didn't get to all of the ones that I had picked out and I actually picked up a few from my bookshelf that weren't on my TBR but I will explain why. So I'm just gonna jump right in and talk about the wonderful books that I read in the month of March. Seriously, amazing books. First one I read was Lights Out by Natalie Walters. This is book one in her Snap Agency series and y'all uh, obsessed. <sighs> okay. I rated this a 5 out of 5 star. And this was a so good. I'm obsessed with the Snap Agency. I loved the chemistry the whole team had. And it wasn't even just like the romantic chemistry that the main characters had, which was great too. But it was just this like family, found family chemistry like of a team turning into a family and I just it was so good <laughs> I love I love I love when authors give me like a good solid team to family chemistry just it feels real it feels like real family I just I love it and Natalie served it up on a gold dish and it was delicious I also enjoyed um the like suspense plot to this one as well it deals with plots I don't normally read with cyber crimes and cyber terrorism and like international terrorism and terrorism in your own home <sighs> a little scary that's why it's not normally my personal favorite to read because it's so real but this was done wonderfully I was totally engrossed the entire time like I did not even want to get up to eat dinner I didn't want to do anything but sit and read this story absolutely amazing and it just really gave me a extra appreciation for everybody who is on the front lines working for my freedom whether they're in the military or even in any of our acronymed agencies um I appreciate all of them they do stuff for us that we will never see uh and I just it really gave me a newfound appreciation for all of them but this was done beautifully absolutely obsessed i cannot wait for fatal code it comes out in a couple weeks and i am so excited it's a kikoa story chef's kiss it's gonna be great but because i don't have fatal code yet and i was still obsessed with the snap agency i decided to pick up this amazing story the prequel novella initium it is the uh, beginning stories of the snap agency so we get to see how it was built why it was built why it was created and we get to see each one getting handpicked to become the amazing team that they are in this book but we get to see their chemistry kind of like start and like the bumps along the way and it was just Oh, good. I rated this a 5 out of 5 star, too. We get to see uh, Tom Walsh. She's the director of the Snap Agency and kind of what pushes him into creating said agency. And it was just great. I loved it. I am so stinking excited for Kikoa's story. I cannot wait for Fiddle Code to come out. Oh, I'm obsessed with the Snap Agency. Okay. Next, I read Active Defense by Lynette Eason. This is book three in the Danger Never Sleeps series. I rated it a 4.5 out of 5 star and this is book three in the series and while I didn't have any issues um reading this one there is something that's a little spoilery for book two I'm assuming. Um I personally have no issues with that. I would definitely recommend reading them in order. <laughs> just just a side note. I am very excited to pick up the first second and fourth book though because the family aspect to this they were all friends but they were super super close and because they all came out of the military it's essentially like a family 
Um, it's more than just friends. And I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the story. I loved that the two main characters started off as friends. And it wasn't just romantic chemistry like they were in love with each other at first glance. It was not like that at all. They did have romantic chemistry, so it worked. But they started off as friends first. They were open and honest with each other, which I really did enjoy. The main girl character, Heather, was really hard for me to connect with sometimes. Um, she wasn't my favorite. But she was written very well, and she grew a lot throughout the story, which I can 100% appreciate. I love when there's good character development, and even though they might not be my favorite at the beginning, she was likable towards the end, and I really did enjoy that. I love Travis, our main guy character. He was just easygoing. Heather and Travis just worked really well together. They were adorable, and I just really did enjoy the story overall, and I am very excited to actually get into the rest of the series. The next book I read, I also did it again. I jumped into the middle of a series, but I fixed it, I promise. It was Malicious Intent by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book two in the Defend and Protect series, and <gasps> obsessed with this book. I love. I rated it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I loved Gil and Ivy so much. It was a second chance romance, which normally aren't always my favorite, but this one was handled very well, and I was obsessed with it, and it was so good, and I love this story. Uh, I really enjoy Lynn's writing style. One, she's maze balls. She does another she's great with creating a team into a real family and I love that but also her girl characters are always very strong and they're very smart and they always keep their head on straight and I just admire that because it ain't me <laughs> I wish and I like in my brain I'm like oh I would totally be cool under pressure no no I would be squealing like a baby absolutely so I can absolutely admire a strong female character lead and Lynn does an absolutely amazing job and as always the chemistry between the characters is great too so oh I just loved it this was a whirlwind of a book it's mighty large but it was done so well and I flew through it this was another one that I did not want to put down I'm absolutely obsessed with this team and with this world and I can't wait for book three this one literally just came out in March, so like it's going to be a year before I get book three, but I just want to let you know. Obsession. I also loved that the this series is written in the same universe as the Dive Team Investigator series, so the teams actually meet in the stories and they work together, and I love when authors do that. So, absolutely loved it. There were a few questions that I had in this story, like little tiny tiny plot lines that were brought in that never got tied off so I don't know if it's going to continue into book three or if it was something that was just slightly forgotten about or just wasn't that big of a deal and in my mind I latched onto information that wasn't really important so that could just be me I guess we will see for when book three comes out but it didn't affect it that much to me like it didn't bother me that much I'm just very curious for when the next book comes out overall obsessed with this <sighs> so good I was obsessed with it I read book one right after <laughs> this is unknown threat it's so good I rated this a four out of five star this is like you know the first book is always good because you're getting to meet all the characters you're getting to see why they feel this way and blah 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 you're like getting all the history which is fine but normally book two is my favorite because you're getting like all the characters instead of just like the background but this was handled beautifully this was Luke and Faith's story and Luke is a secret service special agent so many guesses and Faith is an FBI agent and they have to work together on this case and it was just heartbreaking but so good and it was just glorious and, oh so good I loved it I really liked that Faith and Luke talked to each other um even though 
there was some like issues that's not the right word to use but I'm blanking um like cross agencies they don't always get along very well and that's something that they like talked about in the book but they worked very well together and I just really enjoyed the characters and I really enjoyed the book I read it so fast I actually read it while I was in the airport and I finished it before my flight was over so <laughs> it was absolutely amazing I'm really looking forward to the last book in the series reading about those characters it's gonna be so much fun absolutely love Lynn she has definitely become a favorite suspense author of mine I also started The Enlightenment of Bees in March for the Christian Booktuber book club that I'm a part of and DNF'd it. <laughs> Did not like it. I didn't even get that far into it, but I just knew that it wasn't going to be for me. It was kind of putting me into a bit of a slump. Uh, the point of view, like the writing style was not my favorite. I was having a really hard time like getting into the story because of it. It kept drawing me out. And the voice just felt kind of on the immature side and I just didn't, didn't jive with it. And then I actually read one more book while I was uh, at the airport, kind of, and like the first night I was at Jenna's house. It was called Running Mate by Leah Bruner. It is a clean, sweet read, not Christian fiction. Um, and I had no issues with it, but I would... For some people, it, like, it, it's closed door. Nothing crazy happens. <laughs> it's a clean read. Um, but it is a marriage of convenience, like a contemporary marriage of convenience story. So there is talk of, like, becoming husband and wife. Um, and, like, it wasn't anything crazy. All closed door. So there was, like, nothing explicit. But if that's something that you aren't a fan of, I would probably stay away from it. I It's not on my Goodreads. I need to put it on there because I didn't have service and just it was 4 o'clock in the morning when I finished it and just then kind of forgot about it that week. But I do need to add it to my Goodreads and I'll probably rate it like a 3 out of 5 star. Um, it was cute. It was a cute story. It was like a campaign. Like he's running for um like governor or like the senate seat or something like that in his state it was really cute um but I had a hard time like differentiating between Madsen and which is the guy character and the girl's character the girl character I forget her name um writing style wise their voices sounded very similar so I had a hard time bouncing between them and keeping them straight in my mind so that kind of pulled me out of the story a little bit. But it was a super fast read. I was totally engrossed. Love a good marriage of convenience story. Um, but that's probably why it would be a little bit on the lower side for me. It's just because I had a little bit of a hard time like telling whose side of the story I was reading. So those are the books that I read in the month of March. I was very pleasantly surprised. I absolutely loved all of the suspense books that I read I really enjoyed the other ones um so yeah pretty pretty good month pretty pretty happy with it you can check out all of my reviews for the books the suspense books that I read they are on my blog at for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com. that is like a full breakdown of my thoughts and all of my gushing and you can check out all my pictures and all my posts about them on Instagram at For the Love of Christian Fiction, where I posted about all of them there too. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!